Oh, right. Good, good afternoon. Right. My name is Alison Morrell. Uh, I'm the course lead for creative arts, including art and design. Hi, my name is Donna Wright. I'm the course lead for Foundation Art and Design and also the Year Zero programmes, integrated design programmes. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Andy Jones and I am the course leader for Graphic Design over at the HE Centre and over to you, Louise. Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Course leader for Fashion and Textiles in the L20 building. Okay, so... Reach your goals by doing something you love. Service. Up your game and prove the doubt is wrong. Believe in yourself and achieve your potential. The career you want is waiting for you. The opportunities are here. The expertise are here. The support is here. The inspiration is here. Exits are located at the rear of the cabin and at the front of the cabin. Grow. Thrive. Innovate. Succeed. Wherever you want your story to take you. It starts at Hubert College. Okay, so I'm going to talk first of all about uh, the courses, which is specifically for school leavers and students up to the age of 19 years old. We currently run two UAL art and design courses. We run a level two art and design course, which once completed is equivalent to four GCSEs. And we run a level three applied general extended diploma in art and design, and once completed is equivalent to three A levels. So I'm first going to talk about the level two in art and design. Okay, this is courses ideal for students with an interest in art and design, and it will give you the opportunity to explore materials, and methods, and processes um, that support all art and design activities. Activities we cover on the course are the development of your skills using some of the materials that you've probably used at school. But we have some new and other exciting processes to share with you, such as printmaking. 3D makes, including using clay, plaster and mod rock. We do textiles, felt making, paper making, and we have a heat press on which we can make um, uh, produce a variety of different printed items. On the course, you'll also as well develop your drawing skills and gain an understanding of the creative process. We also look at different artists and designers and use these to support our creative practice. Progression opportunities are then onto the level three art and design course. So the next course we run is the level three applied general extended diploma in art and design, and it's a two year course. The level two being a one year course. This level, two, this level three is a two year course. The first year focuses on developing and fine tuning your skills. The first year is broad based looking at different disciplines such as textiles, fashion, fine art, 3D, photography, graphic design. Okay, I promise. The course is ideal again if you're undecided about what disciplines and what subject areas within art and design you wish to study. The course focuses on the development of your understanding of the creative process, which will enable you to develop your creative ideas and produce a range of outcomes. So as the course progresses, you move into the second year and you will be working on much more complex tasks and you will also learn to apply your knowledge of the creative process to your personal creative projects, focusing on your chosen specialist areas such as, as I said before, graphics, design, fashion, textiles, etc. So you're encouraged to use your evaluative and reflective skills to take responsibility for your own learning. You must be able to plan your time effectively. You uh, would con continue also to develop your critical and contextual awareness of other artists and designers working within the field. And from this course, you can progress onto a higher degree course or onto an apprenticeship. So I'm just going to talk about an ex-student that we had with us, okay, last year. 
few years ago. Her name was uh, Kimberly Sweeney. She went on to do fashion as a third peer at the University of Central Lancashire. She was a very, very motivated student. She came to us to do the level two, first of all. She worked incredibly hard. She then went on to the level three by the second year. End of the first year, second year, she was focusing well into fashion. I know that she's doing extremely well at university and has enjoyed really all aspects of it. She really enjoyed the challenge of um, working towards a higher level course. And from that now, we're now going to move on to uh, Donna, who's going to tell you a little bit more about higher level courses once you've finished your level three. Hi, thanks, Alison. Um, OK, so I'm here to talk to you about two different courses. The first course being Foundation Art and Design. Who is the course for? So the, both courses are for 18 years plus. So you've got to be 18. Um, Foundation Art and Design, if you are 18 um, on the 31st of August, it's funded. So you're not paying for it. Anything above that, you will need to um, gain an advanced learner loan. Um, what do we do? OK, I mean, what the course is for, it's to basically take people to uh, develop your portfolio and to move you on to university level. OK, the units that we do and the way the course is set up, two units are exploratory. So you'll be looking at lots of different specialist areas. Um, and then two units are um, specialists, so you will choose your specialist area after gaining lots of um, knowledge and advice. Um, and then two units are uh, focused on a final major project and an exhibition. And that's the way it's set up. We've got a range of specialist staff working across the programme, so we're all from different uh, backgrounds. Um, there's lots and lots of different areas that you can move into from this um, qualification. Um, illustration, graphics, fashion textiles, 3D design, jewellery making, drawing, there's a whole range. Um, what you will need um, to get onto the um, course is you need five GCSEs, grade A to C, um, or A levels. Um, what I could suggest is that if you are interested in, in this course, just get straight in touch with us um, and then we can direct you. The other course that I'd want to talk to you about is we call it a year zero because it's much more simple than the real name. So the real name is Integrated Foundation Design Programmes. OK, um, on the end of that, you would choose photography, media, fashion, graphics, visual merchandising, a, a whole range, but they are your integrated programme, so please look out for those. Um, now, the way this is set up, it's a little bit similar to um, the foundation, but we deal with different specialist areas. So you will do projects in all of these areas, um, graphic design, creative makeup, fashion and textiles, media, photography, visual merchandising and interior design. So what happens is in the first semester, you cover all of those topics. In the second semester, you specialize and then that will give you the basis to move you forward onto a foundation degree. So what you'll be signing up for is a three year program, year zero and then two years of a foundation degree. Um, and we offer all of these degree programs in our university center. Okay, with that, I would like to pass over to Louise. Thank you very much, Donna. Um, hi, everybody. So I'm talking about the HE courses that we deliver in the L20 building, and we've got a dedicated floor on the seventh floor of the Balliol as well. So I'm part of the fashion and textiles team. The course has now been running uh, for a total of uh, four years. And it was built initially, um, there was no fashion and textiles available. And, and I thought, well, rather than having fashion or textiles, let's just do both. And that was really the foundation for building the course. I wanted to offer all sorts of elements throughout the fashion and textiles industry. So you get a fundamental 
um, skills in each area to begin with. So the first year, we concentrate on drawing for textiles. We look at repeat design, um, what textile designers can be inspired by and so on. Um, this runs through to fashion illustration, where you can start to put your own designs onto the garments that you're going to construct. Um, we look at fashion and textile design. So again, it's this is all an introduction to these elements in the first year. You get to look at um, purely just the design aspects. So you're looking at um, what garments or what fashion accessories you would like to design. This then gets all put through to the digital side of things where you're looking at learning Photoshop and Illustrator tools. And alongside the contextual studies where you'll be looking at the history of fashion and textiles in the first year. Once um, the second year starts, it's really just a continuation of the first year, but more advanced. So continuing with the uh, drawing for textiles, but it goes through to surface design. So we start to really um, pin uh, the different repeat layouts. Um, looking at culture and identity. So a lot more, you're, you're starting to take control of your own area and starting to investigate where would be your personal identity in the area of fashion and textiles. We look at culture and identity. So if you think about stripping culture completely, who would you be? Or we look at different cultures, different identities. So what would you like to um, be as a practicing fashion designer? Um, again, digital, we look more at pattern cutting. So here you'll be doing your pattern blocks. Um, and we also have introduced the self-managed careers as well. So we want to start looking at what you're going to be successful as when you leave university. So really, we want you applying for the jobs. We want you um, com with the confidence to open your business if you want to go down the self-employment route. And I think nowadays it is juggling different areas of the fashion and textiles industry, having commissions here. You might be a freelance. You might have your own studio. You might have your own business online, pop-up shops, all these opportunities that, that could be available to you. Um, and you're working uh, as a contemporary fashion designer. So it's, so it's more the here and now in the second year, looking at the trend analysis. If you do want to top up your final year, the, so the final BA year is your third year, and we start to look at futuristic fashion and textiles. So we really start to underpin um, you as a future textile and fashion designer, thinking about what's available in three to four years. And I think it's massive at the moment. It was massive anyway, cutting edge fashion and textiles with the technology that's now available. Um, but now with uh, what's been happening recently, we, we, we are forced into sustainability and ethics and ethical factors and so on. So it's, it's really interesting. Um, here, your tutors really become mentors to you it's over to you. Um, so you hit the ground running with your own personal identity. What's that market niche that you want to purely just study? You have your main project, um, which is run all week and with a dedicated team of staff, fantastic team of staff. I think Donna touched on it before. We've got Eric covering all areas um, with the industry knowledge as well. We like to invite the guest speakers in. Um, at least once a term so we get different people in maybe um from a high-end business or somebody working from home or somebody in a studio ex-students come in with their portfolios and tell of their experience and so on so we want you ready we want you industry ready for the moment you graduate so we know that you're going to be successful um further modules cover business startups and the contextual studies is looking at um the future as i've said before so um, to apply, you can come from straight from level three or the Donna's course and um, you come straight for an interview with your portfolio of work. We get people from all different backgrounds um, and we pride ourselves on the support that we offer as well. We do have um, a small cohort of learners, so we can um, really give you one-to-one -one support in your studies. Um, so for more information, of course, is on the website, but please just get in touch with any, any questions you think of after today. Obviously, we're, we're always here to, to make sure your application goes smoothly for you. OK, thank you very much. And over to Andy to discuss more HE courses. Hello, everybody. My name is Andy, Andy Jones. 
and I run the graphic design department in HE. Um, what I want to talk to you about um, over the next few minutes is not only the course that I run, but also the other four remaining courses within the HE area of provision. Uh, so all the courses offer and equip uh, the undergraduates with practical skills needed to function successfully within the creative arts industry. All the courses invite external um, guest speakers to enhance your experience, but also we go out to design studios and other places relating to the subject matter. Uh, all the courses um, in the HE uh, will develop your contextual studies. Uh, what shapes the specific area uh, from people uh, involved, but also uh, social issues. And we call these global contexts. Um, the HE area offer a wide range of trips for students, um, residential, uh, day trips, etc. And um, you'll be working on uh, industry briefs and live briefs, okay, competition briefs. So first up, graphic design. This is my Bob Dylan moments. There we go, graphic design. My name's Andy Jones, or Andrew.Jones at uh, qbird.ac.uk. Um, what we do, uh, we look at design, we look at illustration, advertising, motion graphics, brand con consultancy, um, and design consultancy. We experiment with innovative ways to um, look at creative and visual thinking on the course. Graphic design, illustration, motion graphics, web-based media, publication and advertising. These are the areas that you can expect to go into um, after you graduate. Uh, next up would be creative makeup. Another Bob Dylan moment. There we go. Creative makeup. And Lucy runs that course. Lucy.McEwen at huber.ac.uk. You can find all these contacts on the Huber website under the subject area and then go to HE. So with creative, um, uh, creative makeup design and practice, Fundamental techniques and academic training, okay, including anatomy uh, as well as key practical skills uh, required to work within the makeup industry. The course will hopefully equip you to go down several routes, opening up different areas for you to go into. Commercial makeup artist, okay, cosmetic uh, company makeup artist, freelance in fashion and uh, photographic industry, music industry. Personal makeup artists, for instance, uh, theatre, okay, special effects, uh, own business enterprise. You know, it's massive. You know, the course um, attracts a wide range of people, and these people want to take these skills and set up their own business. Um, what I want to talk about is also uh, the uh, digital imaging and photography, okay, photography. David Doc Lockwood at Hubert. Uh, he's your main contact. If you need to contact him, again, details on website. Um, the course will help uh, develop the needs of the clients, um, the employment in photography, digital imaging, imaging sector, product, portrait, reportage, and documentary, landscape. Again, looking at global context and any issues. Uh, this is what you'll um, develop on that course. Job titles that you could go into after graduating, photojournalism, editorial, studio still life, portraiture, landscape, fashion and architectural um, photography and picture research. Wide range of areas for you to go into. Again, contact david.lockwood and uh, ask him anything you need, to be fair. Okay. Uh, a, a course close to my heart because I started out in this area many many years ago is visual merchandising and promotional design and your main contact is Angela Angela Dot O'Brien um this course is a close collaboration it was written in close collaboration with the retail sector okay which is ever changing as we all know and uh, certainly is now so what magic will Angela and Pete work in September 2020 based around what's happened with the, uh, the climate and uh, the COVID uh, situation. Who knows? Visual merchandising, uh, display design, fashion promotion, elements of graphic design and product styling. These are all the areas that you can uh, expect to go into. 
after graduating with that uh, degree. And finally, moving image, moving moving image production, and that's Del Pike. He's your main contact. Okay. Again, we all have representation online through social media, um, Instagram, and also on the Hubert website. So with that, uh, you will be provided with the training in camera, sound, lighting, post production, and produ production management, with a particular emphasis on. Uh, factual and narrative film and corporate media production. So what kind of jobs would you want to go into? Well, you know what? Online, we've got uh, a, a brief um, section that tells you about all the courses and what you can go into. And with moving image production, you can go into research, um, script writing, camera operative, editorial, uh, sound design, lighting design, special effects consultant, uh, product management, a producer, cinematographer and of course with all our courses independent and in this case independent filmmaker so these are all the options uh, what i'd like to do is bat it over to you guys and ask for any questions and answers um i'd like to also say that we've got lots of social media platforms that you can contact not only the staff that you see here today but from all the other courses instagram twitter and of course uh, our own website but if there's any other questions please uh, make any comments on the uh, in the box and thank you thank you how are we all today are we all good? okay so uh emma that's a really good question emma asks what specialisms can i do in art so in art and design, um, in, on your level three and your level two, we cover such things as um, fashion, textiles, photography, 3D, fine art, and graphic design, which includes illustration as well. So they're the, uh, they're the, the different specialist pathways that we work with. There's a question there for Donna. Question for me, David, thanks for the question. Is there a part-time route? Yes, of course, we always offer part-time routes on both. Opportunity for everybody. Okay, Ellie's asking how much writing is there on media or art? Well, of course there's writing that we have to do. We have to look at our work, we have to evaluate our work, we have to think about um, how we produced our work and so yes we do encourage you to write and to reflect on all the work that you produce. It tends to be in more note format, there's no official, uh, there's no official exam as such um, in either of the courses um, but you are expected to be able to write and, and think carefully about how you produce the work and where your ideas are going and be able to um, Write about how you've developed the work. Okay. Okay. Uh, I've got a question from Rob who asks, on average, how many are in the groups? Well, what of our unique selling points uh, at Hubert University Centre are the small groups. And the reason um, they work really well small is that we can obviously um, discuss things with the students a lot more effectively. We're not like um, the bigger, huge universities the campuses where you've got 90 in a group where you see a lecturer once every two weeks and you have to make that appointment. We're very mm -hmm. uh, forward facing. We expect you to obviously be in and we'll be in and we, you know, you can get us effectively um, through, through the working day, nine to five. We are there all the time. There is always, always going to be a member of staff. On average, mm -hmm. about 15 in a group. Uh, some groups might go up to 20 and 25 and then they might be split into different groups. Mm -hmm. well, average, uh, use that about 15. Okay, a question from Gemma for myself. Um, Gemma asks uh, if, if mature adults can come onto the fashion course. Absolutely. Um, the, the way people apply for the course is it could be you haven't been in education for so long, you've been in a completely different career and you're looking at your career choices um, so absolutely apply 
we will discuss um, what career choices you have been in, what you're wanting to make, uh, what you've been doing for your hobby, um, and we want to we want to we want to discuss with you if the course is right for you, um, and what skills you have at the moment that could take you onto the course. And remember, the first year is an introduction to everything. We don't expect you to to know everything. Um, that's what the course is for so for your application um go 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 to the website and do apply we will offer uh, we will ask for a portfolio of evidence but this can be absolutely anything any interest for the specialist area that you're looking at it might be color theory um something you've made for your children or something you've made for yourself or some little they could be absolutely anything associated with fashion and textiles but yes do apply um and we have the majority of our learners are mature learners, all different ages and backgrounds and so on. So absolutely, um, come and ask us any further questions if needed. Question from Yaz, do I need any specialised equipment? The answer to that is no, not really, because we provide that equipment for you to use. However, what you will need is to build yourself up a little kit, um, an art kit for, obviously we do set work that needs to be done at home, but where specialised equipment is concerned, we have that, we provide it for you. Excellent. Well, Brett, how are you? Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get a good GCSE result. Will I be able to do a college course? Absolutely, yes. We have um, the level three requires you to have uh, four GCSEs, grade uh, four and above. Okay. The level two requires you to have four GCSEs, grade two to three and above. Okay. Now, if for some example, you, for some reason you don't get any GCSEs, there's always our level one course as well that you could do which is a cross college course which gives you experience in art and design so absolutely we'd love to hear from you if it's not gone well for you in your GCSEs don't worry because we'll be able to offer you something all right okay um I don't think we've had uh, any more questions what I'd like to say is uh thank you for joining us today and don't forget that applications for September are still open and you can apply online through our website. If you have any uh, further questions or queries, please get in touch uh, via our website and social media. Stay safe, and we hope to see you soon. Thank yeah. You. Okay. Look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye. Bye bye. Bye.